25. And I'm only going to look at 25 <laughs> through 29. It's going to be all right. going to be all right. But it's gonna be alright. Ah, right. oh, God. It's gonna be alright. Go read chapter 25 through 29. And certainly we could have read this from Luke, Matthew, because the one with the issue of blood is in all of them. We could have read it from any of those texts. But I want to look at it from Mark 5:25. And it says, and a certain woman, doesn't give a specific name, but a certain woman, could be you or I, could have been any of us, which had an issue of blood 12 years. Certainly 12 years to deal with anything in life is quite some time. And how many of you know that there are many of us today that we're dealing with situations that we didn't just start dealing with on yesterday? But we've been dealing with what's going on in our lives for quite some time. And the Bible says in verse 26, And she had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had. And even after spending all of her money, was nothing better, but rather grew worse. Have any of you ever been in the midst of a situation where you, it's not that you sat there and did absolutely nothing. You tried. You did something. But what you did just didn't seem to work. <laughs> uh, you can fix it yourself so you went to somebody else. But even after all you have done, instead of our situation getting better. Now, if you've never had one like that, I've had situations my oh, yeah. martial has gotten worse instead of better. Yeah. I, I sought help because I thought that they should get better if I went someplace else and got some professional help. But instead of getting better, it got worse. But I like 27 because it says, when she had heard, oh God, when she heard of Jesus, she heard, and that's why it's important for us to give our testimonies. We didn't say disclose all of your business, but when God has brought you out, how many of you know you need to testify and let somebody know that if it had not been for the Lord on my side, if he had not touched my body, you know, sometimes we're very personal with things. We try to keep it to ourselves, but sometimes you just need to tell of the goodness of the Lord because she heard this came in the press behind and touched his garment. You all know the history that a, a woman that was bleeding, she had no business according to the Levitical law to touch or be in the midst of anyone. But this woman heard, she said, I've got a situation. And many of us in here today, we have situations that baby, we just simply need to touch Jesus. Oh, yeah. Situations that we tried to fix, situations that we tried to get out, situations that we prayed about, situations that we don't know what to do. But how many of you know if you can touch it? Ah, God. The Bible says, and touched his garment. She came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, and when you hear about Jesus, how many of you understand it has a way of increasing your faith? Faith comes by hearing. You understand. You have to hear. When I hear what the Lord has done for you, that's no time for me to gossip about what your situation was. But when I hear that he brought you out, Mother Thomas, it just gives me some hope. It, it, it helps me to hold on just a little while longer. I might be at the point where I want to give up. Because even when you love God, you can get to the point that you just say, God, enough of this is enough. I can't take any more. And we want to give up. But when I hear what he's done for you, if he can heal you, that means he can heal me. 
She says, if I may touch but his clothes, yes. I shall. Yeah. Honey, her faith was bolstered. Yeah. She didn't say I might, but she yeah. said, if I could just yeah. get behind him and touch his garment, uh -huh. I shall be whole. Yeah. I've been to the doctor. I spent all my money. I did everything I know to do. But if I can just get to Jesus and touch his garment. Yeah. How many of you know that some of us, if we could just touch him, we shall be whole. I'm going to stop at 29. You can read the rest when you get a chance. And the Bible says, and straightway, immediately, the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body instantaneously that she was healed of that plague. How many of you know we serve a God that'll move suddenly? We might have been dealing with the situation for a long time, but if we can just touch him and have the faith to believe, how many of you know that suddenly? Oh God, did any old my shot? If you give me 15 minutes, let me just talk to you. Talk to you for 15 minutes. I don't necessarily want to talk about the woman with the issue of blood, but I want you to understand that all of us have some situations that yes. we're dealing with. Yes. Yes. All you have to do is be here on this morning because we had from one thing to the other that has taken place. When I got in the office, I had him on the telephone because things are going on in the lives of God's people. Yeah. It does not mean that they are not saved because a lot of times we like to think that if people have situations yeah. prevailing yeah. in their lives oh, that really they don't have a relationship with God. But how many of you know you can love God, you can serve God, but yet you can have situations that take place in life that you really don't know anything or know how to deal with. I want to talk to you, and you may say, Pastor, this thought really don't go with this, but if you just listen to me for a few minutes, we're going to do what we have to do and get finished. I want to talk from this thought. I am expecting to give birth. All right. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm pregnant. Right. Oh, right. And I am I'm not sure. uh, You ain't got to talk about me. I am expecting bigger. We, we talked about this being the season of exceeded favor and manifestation. Well, I want you to understand that this is the month of September, which is the ninth month of the year. And I'm expecting Mother Marshall, this is the time. We've been dealing with it, talking about it since January. But how many of you know this is month number nine? Baby, it's time for the manifestation. <laughs> and baby, I'm expecting. I'm not even embarrassed. I just want you to know that I'm expecting. How many of you are expecting to give birth? <laughs> oh, God. How many of you been carrying this baby for nine months? And you're saying, God, but now is the time. This is month number nine. Give me 15 minutes and I'm finished. This is the month of September. September. I don't have time to go through the history of it and history of the month and all of those things. But this is the month of September. The month of the year. The ninth month of the year. Basically when we normally talk about the ninth month. It's normally, you understand, the gestation period for human pregnancy. Glory. Honey, we've been pregnant since January. We've been pregnant since January 1st. And now this is September 3rd. So how many of you know it's time for manifestation? It's time for us to give birth. When a woman becomes impregnated, the time from conception to full term is normally nine months. Now we 
know the exceptions to the rules. You know the exceptions to every rule, yeah. even when God is in the midst of it. But even in the spiritual realm, yeah. there is something about the ninth month uh -huh. that gives us an indication that something is about to happen. Right. Oh, yeah. September is a month of change, it's a month of turnaround. Yeah. I like September because uh, it's no longer after a while, it will not be summer, but we're going into the fall season. You know, you look at the trees, you look at the leaves. And, oh, I get excited. I, I just love the beauty of the color. You know, the things. Uh, my daughter, you know, she wanted to do it last week. I said, baby, let's just give it a couple of weeks before. Because we put up fall decorations. Uh, you know, we got the different color uh, plates. They might only be the dollar store plates, but Lord, they look real nice on the table. Table. You know, we got leaves here and leaves there and, and green and, and, and orange pumpkins and, and all kinds of things because we like the harvest. You know, Mother Thomas, I got the candles. The I mean, we just like because there is a change that has taken place. Now, in the summer times, we had lemons. We had yellow because summer is a different. But when you come to the month of September, how many of you know that change takes place? Uh, there's something about September, huh? even when you go through the park, huh? and it's not like it used to be, but honey, I used to get a joy huh? of just riding my car through the park huh? because the leaves would be red, the leaves would be orange, huh? the leaves would start to become brown huh? because a change takes place. How many of you waiting for a change? Uh, I don't know about you, but I need, I need a change. Uh, there's something about the ninth month. Uh, it's a month of manifestation uh, for those of us that are impregnated with dreams uh, and with visions uh, and the promises of God. Uh, has God said anything to anybody in this house? Uh, has he spoken in your spirit, man? Uh, has he told you, I'm going to do it for you? Uh, I'm going to manifest myself. Uh, I'm going to heal your body. Uh, I'm going to bring you out. Uh, I'm going to deliver your child. Uh, has God spoken to anybody? Uh, well, I simply stopped by to tell you this morning uh, that this is the ninth month. Uh, this is a time uh, of manifestation. Uh, when a woman is pregnant, uh, it's after the gestation period. Uh, she is expecting something to happen. Uh, honey, after you've been pregnant for nine months, uh, I don't care how old we are, those that were pregnant, uh, baby, you know after nine months, you were just ready uh, to see that baby boy. Uh, you were ready to see that precious little girl. Uh, Honey, you were tired. Huh? You were worn out. Huh? Your back was hurting and everything else was hurting. Huh? Because it was time for manifestation. Huh? Ah, you carried the baby for nine months. Huh? But now you were looking to see a baby. Huh? Ah, you already bought your clothes. You bought the bottles. Huh? You know you bought all kinds of things. Huh? My granddaughter had a baby. They got all kinds of crazy things. Huh? Things I never heard of. Things I never seen. Huh? Things I'm just too old to deal with. Huh? But honey, they were waiting for a baby. Huh? And I hate to tell you all, my daughter has just gone crazy over a baby. Huh? Honey, I sort of lost her daughter when a baby came. Huh? Cause she in Baltimore, Maryland. Huh? Just as much as she's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Huh? I don't know what day she going. Huh? We see the baby picture every day. And I want you to understand huh, that the great grandmama is a little crazy too. Ah, huh? uh, cause I tell you, huh, one thing the baby gonna know how to use huh, is how to use FaceTime on the iPad. Huh? Cause I talk to him on the iPad just about every day. Huh? I'm saying hello, huh, like he know what it is I'm talking about. Huh? She says to me sometimes, huh, Mom, why are you kissing the iPad? Huh? You're not really kissing him. Huh? But baby, you can't tell me I'm not kissing him. Huh? You can't tell me he don't know huh, that Gigi Mom loves him. Huh? So I want us to understand huh, that after nine months, huh, we expect 
a manifestation. Uh, after you carry the baby, uh, we expect the birth of that which uh, we have been nurturing uh, for the past nine months. Uh, and many of us in here have been nurturing uh, dreams that God has given us. Uh, many of us have been nurturing uh, promises that God made to us. Uh, many of us have been nurturing uh, ministries that God said he's going to birth. Uh, I want us to understand huh, that during the ninth month, huh, honey, the ninth month huh, is a labor month. Huh? Labor, you have to understand, huh, can be a life or a death situation. Huh? It has to be known, huh, or you have to know huh, that labor is painful. It make you say things you didn't think you would say. Huh? How many of you know labor is painful? Huh? It'll make you hit people you didn't think you wanted to hit. Huh? It'll make the wrong thing come out if you don't have enough God on the inside. Huh? Because labor is painful. Huh? It'll make you walk up and down the floor. Huh? It'll make you crawl on the floor. Huh? Honey, it'll make you scream, hoop, and holler. Huh? Because labor huh, is painful. Huh? I want us to understand huh, that not only is labor painful, huh, but baby, it's exhausting. Huh? You understand, we didn't have the, the braids back there. Huh? You know, your hair, you will got it curled up. Huh? But by the time you got out of the labor room, huh, your hair was standing on top of your head. Huh? You know, we didn't have it down, you know. Huh? Sometimes if you didn't, couldn't afford a perm, huh? you couldn't afford other things. Huh? You were worn out, tired, hot, huh? and exhausted. Huh? I want us to understand huh, that when you in a labor period, huh, and September is a month of labor, huh, you have to be careful huh, that you still don't abort the baby. Huh? You have to be careful huh, that when the baby is born, huh, that the baby is not born dead. Uh, huh? You've got to be careful. Huh? And that's what I come to tell United this morning. Huh? Baby, we're pregnant with expectation. Huh? We're pregnant with ministry. Huh? We are pregnant with possibilities, huh? but we got to be careful. You got to be careful huh? that you don't abort huh? what God has promised you. Huh? This is not the time, huh? not the time to give up. Huh? This is not the time, huh? the time to mumble, grumble, and complain. Huh? But I want you to understand huh, that you in the labor room. Huh, why are we going through? Huh? You know why we are going through? Huh? Because it's time to push. Huh? The battle cry of the labor room huh, is push. I gotta go home. Huh? The battle cry of the labor room huh? is you got to push. Huh? Honey, you push. Huh? You don't want to push sometimes. Huh? Because when you push, huh? the pain may get worse. Huh? But if you want to see the manifestation, huh? if you want the delivery of the payday, huh? if you want to give birth huh? to what God has given you, huh? how many of you know we got to push? Huh? Somebody said, God, huh? I'm going to push. I'm in my ninth month, but I'm going to push. It may be painful, but I'm going to push. I may shed tears, but I'm going to push. I'm going to push in prayer. When you need to push, you got to have a prayer life. Say, Lord, it's just about that time. I know it's coming to pass, and I'm going to push. I'm going to set aside some time huh, that you and I can have a conversation. Huh? I'm going to set aside some time huh, that I can pray fervently. Huh? I'm going to set aside some time huh, that I'm going to pray persistently. Huh? Honey, you got to push. Anybody know if you're going to see the manifestation? Huh? 
Sister Jackie, if you gonna see what God has for you. Huh? How many of you know we gotta push? Huh? God, I'm gonna push in prayer. Huh? I'm gonna pray in the wee hours of the morning. Huh? I'm gonna pray in the midnight. Huh? I'm gonna pray in my car. Huh? I'm gonna pray walking down the street. Huh? I don't have time to gossip. Huh? Cause I'm in delivery. Huh? I'm in the labor room. Huh? And I just got to push. You got to push. Push in the word. You got to get in the word of God. And say, Lord, I'm standing on your promise. Get yourself a scripture. Don't worry about learning the whole Bible. But get yourself a scripture. That'll apply to your situation. And say, Lord, I'm going to hold on to your word. I don't see it. I don't know when it's going to happen. But I know this is the ninth month. I know I'm in the delivery room. And I'm going to push. I'm going to push in the word. I'm going to stay in my word. I'm getting off of Facebook some. I'm not doing what I used to do. But I'm talking to you. You got to read the word. You got to meditate on the word. You got to confess the word. God, you said it. And I'm simply going to believe it. I know my delivery might be hard. But this is my time. My time to give birth. I've been pregnant for a long time. But now, this is month number nine. And I'm going to give birth. You got to push in obedience. I got to go. I got to go. We don't mind reading the word. We don't mind praying. But we got issues with obedience. <laughs> Mother of gentlemen, we got pushing obedience. If God said it, we got to be obedient. When you're in the labor room, you got pushing obedience. I know we grown. You know, this is a season for me. And I'm finished. I got to go. This is a season where God has closed my mouth. This is a season where I'm not fussing. This is a season where I'm not, you know, if you know to do right, fine. If you don't feel like doing it, God bless. This is a season that I'm talking. It's not a season that I don't love. Not a season that I don't pray. But it's a season that there comes a time that God said, let me handle it. Let me handle it. We can't make people be obedient. But baby, if you going to give birth, I don't care how well you preach. I don't care how gifted we are. I don't care how much money we have. I don't care what we have on a materialistic level. You got to understand that you're not going to give birth, baby. You're going to abort. You're going to abort the baby. So how do I push? I'm pushing them. And it's hard. It's hard for all of us to be. You know, we think when you get a certain age, you're just happy to be obedient. There are things that I still don't want to do. But as much as I've gone through, I refuse to allow the enemy, Mother Tom, to cause me to abort my baby. month of harvest. This is the month of manifestation. This is the month that God is going to do what it said. If I push, you got to push. You all stand. I'm going to quit. I'm not finished, but I'm quitting. You got to push. You got to push in faith. 
the enemy will make us think it's happening forever. And he, guess what? He taught the young people, old people, and Middle East. It's happening for everybody else. What's, what's your problem? Yes, right. yes, he does. But this, I'm pregnant. And I'm going to give birth. I'm going to hold on to the horns of the earth. This is the ninth month, sister Thomas. Ninth month. The month of manifestation. The month when everything that God has promised me. Guess what? He no respect the persons. But what he has promised you. What he has said. He's going to bring it to pass. Don't abort your baby. You know the hard part. I don't know if it's the hardest. Because Lord knows it's painful when you're in labor. But the hard part is carrying the baby for nine months. But you come all this way. And God said now is time. <laughs> it's time for you to deliver. How many of you ready to give birth to what God has spoken to you?